What's up guys? How's everybody doing? It's been about I want to say like three to four days, maybe five days since I have filmed anything. Um, today's video and you guys probably already read the title or whatever. I'm going to be messing around with that um, throttle body again, the K2 one. Uh, I got the, uh, let me close my door, some guy walking over here. Um, I got the 72 millimeter one from k -Tune. Uh If you guys haven't seen the other video with me trying to fix it and I call them up and then they tell me to mess with the spring and all that stuff, I already messed with it. Uh, I think twice already previously. It helped a lot adjusting the spring. Um, another thing I did, I got me a new TPS which, which really helped with the uh, throttle response and all that. So that that helped. What else did I do? The IACV, I changed that out. I swapped it out, which wasn't cheap, but that really didn't do much. I actually ended up buying a new throttle cable because I thought that might be the issue. And I started really thinking about it. I really don't think that's the issue, but I got one anyways. I'm gonna swap that out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna mess with the spring again one more time because the car's actually i drove it two weeks ago and it was still sticking and i feel like as i keep driving it um throughout the day it kind of loosens up i don't know if the sticking thing like just gets better or whatever with time but it got a little better um a lot better than when i first put it in i didn't adjust the spring i didn't do anything i just installed it and that thing was just stuck at the uh 2k mark and then my idle will not go down underneath it won't go under that like it's just stuck right there so my idle is pretty high let me turn off the car and turn it back on let's turn this thing on let's see where it idles you see now now we're pretty good yeah now it's all good so i don't know now I just gave it some gas and now it's stuck again. So, I don't know what's up with this. Oh, there we go, it dropped through. So kind of the same issue I was having before where it just randomly drops through and it goes back to normal idle. So yeah, it'll get stuck at the two and then um, it'll randomly just drop to like normal idle and then it just kept doing that. Now. This issue is happening with every single throttle body out there. Any aftermarket, it's a known issue. These guys know about it. I don't think they're doing anything to really fix it. I don't know, maybe they are, but really I think it's just random, you know? You could end up with a good one or a bad one. I'm gonna adjust that spring again. I'm gonna make it even tighter. Like, I already made it tight, but I'm gonna go as far as I can with the spring on the k -Tune thing. And if you guys haven't seen the first video, like I said, Go check it out. I'm going to leave the link down below. That's how you adjust it. I kind of filmed it all. Today, I'm just going to just not film any of that. I'm just going to adjust it. So I'm going to bring my laptop with me just in case. I got that here. Um, if you guys, yo, one other thing. If you guys haven't tried these, yo, try these. The chewy nut bar cranberry almond. Banging. And I've been warming up my car for a couple minutes now. It should be good. I'm actually in shorts today show you guys on my sandals on i'm actually gonna bring my shoes with me just in case uh i don't know i do end up doing anything crazy i don't think i'll be getting dirty today though thank god so yeah i'm gonna finish getting my stuff ready yo the pollen out here like in the streets from the trees wherever that pollen stuff comes from is messing me up like my allergies are out of control right now so i actually got you know just in case i got my epi pen and a bunch of stuff that's why i kind of always carry a uh I always carry my backpack with me because you just never know. But my allergies are crazy this year. So yeah, I'm gonna set up my bag. I'm gonna get all my stuff ready, eat something real quick, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, so I just got here. I'll show you guys what I was talking about at the house. So in previous videos, we adjusted the uh, spring inside the k -Tune throttle body, which is by, you know, releasing or loosening this right here. And also adjusting this screw right here. We also adjusted the throttle cable. We took off the cold air intake and made sure the, uh, I don't know what to call it, like the little butterfly wing flap thing in there was all the way closed before we, we locked this in. We also changed the TPS. In another video, we changed the IACV. None of that really helped with the throttle body sticking. So, so what we're gonna do today is adjust the spring inside the, the throttle body again. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. All you gotta do is loosen this bolt right here. Um, take off this throttle cable and it'll come off. So let's go ahead and, and uh, take this off. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a sec. So real quick, just to show you guys, I don't wanna lose everybody, um, you know, in the process. I uh, took off the intake. My intake might be a little different from yours, but it's the same thing. You take it off so you're able to see the, uh, the butterfly, you know, like wing thing in there. And then um, I took off the throttle cable, which is over here. Um, mine, someone made this one for me. Like I said earlier, it's a custom one. Uh, same thing as any other one, but um, he actually made it for me. And these are 12s right here. To take that off, you just loosen that one. Loosen the nut on this side. This has like a little groove in it, which you're able to slide this on and off of here. And then after you take that off, you have this here. Now to take this off, like I said, you loosen this bolt right here. This is in here like this, it slides out. Make sure you guys hold the spring in place so you know your placement. So you know your placement on, on here and I'll show you guys that in a second now. So now that we took that off, I'm gonna show you guys where it was before and where I put it after and where we're gonna put it now this time, like how we're gonna adjust it. So real quick before it gets loud in here, I used to be, before I adjusted anything, it used to be in this spot right here. And then when I did it the first time, I went over to this one. And then now we're gonna go down two more and go even tighter, we're gonna go into this one. So the way this goes back in, and if you guys paid attention, you know, the way you took it out, you should know, but take this side and it just goes in like that. So I'm going on the, on the right hand side, I'm going on the fourth one down. So we're gonna slide this back in the way we took it out, same exact way, and then um, we're gonna adjust everything and then test it again, see if uh, it fixes anything. All right, so I took this back off again real quick, guys. Um, I started putting this back on, and I kinda noticed I could go a little tighter, so instead of the four spot down, I'm gonna actually go six spots down from the right side, so almost right in the middle. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna put that back on. Well, I'm gonna try and put this back on because what happens is this thing spins like that. So I'm gonna see if I can get that back on. If not, I'm gonna go to five. And then we're gonna try it again. All right, so I spun that back on. I'm on that sixth spot that I showed you guys. So, you know, there was uh, 11 spots. On the right-hand side, I went to the sixth spot. Now, in here, you guys can see that the butterfly thing is open. Before you tighten that screw up there, you want to make sure this is closed. So, you know, close that all the way, and then you want to go ahead and tighten this one. All right, so I tighten this up. Uh, I'm gonna actually throw in the new throttle cable. That's the. Let's see if I could focus in on this. All right, so there it is. That's the part number. That's what I bought. Yeah, so I'm gonna swap the other one out for that one. I already know the issue is not the throttle cable, but. I already have it, so I'm gonna throw that in there real quick. This has two nuts here. You loosen those, you just slide it off of here, over here. This has just a little rotating mechanism here. And then underneath, I don't know if I could show you guys. Oh man, that looks, that looks, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys see my other video. I'll put the link down below, but um, most of you guys have seen the back already, but. I uh, gutted the back end and repainted everything and it looks so nice. Looks so good. All right, let's focus here. So your throttle cable has this little white clip there. You kind of just unclip that thing right there and it has an opening where you could just slide it through. I don't know if you see it, it's right there. You just slide the throttle cable through and uh, you just pull it out from the uh, engine bay and that's that's about it. Just... I know the internet, you guys know everything. So this is for the people that don't know or that just never seen it. I just wanted to show them real quick. So chillax, I know guys, I know. It's uh, pretty easy. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the one I had and the one K-Tune sent me. Now, I feel like I feel like it's not a big deal, but I feel like K-Tune shouldn't have wrapped it the way they did. They folded it maybe uh, one, 
two, maybe three times they folded it. So hopefully, you know, this thing straightens out because I don't want it to look like that. But it's pretty much the same thing. Everything's the same on it. Uh, this rubber piece right here is a little different. Yeah, everything's the same. Just a couple different things. So this one's mine. This one's k tune So these are pretty much the same. Uh, so I'm going to put it back in reverse order. You know, start with this end or start whichever end you want to start with. But I'm going to start with this end where the pedal is. Then I'll come back and do this. All right, so I kind of put the throttle cable on there. I kind of mocked it up. Whatever, just to see what it looks like. See if I even like it. Um, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. If I like your product, I'll say it. If I don't, I don't. So I'm not sure if I like this throttle cable more than I like my other one. Uh, reason being... So first of all, I don't even know how this thing really goes on. Like, am I supposed to go like this, over, under? Like, I really don't know. I feel like this this thing is a little too long. All right, so I tried it like this, where it just kind of just goes outward, and then that way. I don't like it. It has like too much flop to it. All right, so I was trying to show you guys pretty much how the uh, new throttle cable was sitting. It was kind of loud outside. I'm sitting inside my car right now. The vacuum was on, the compressor, the uh, power washer, like just a bunch of stuff. So it was hard for me to like really film. And I'm not sure if you guys can really hear me because, you know, I'm, I'm recording. So I don't really know how this is going to come out once I go home and see it on the computer. So I have no use for this throttle cable. So I think I'm going to announce my first giveaway will be this k uh, short shorty throttle cable or whatever they call it however this thing came i'm just gonna put it back in there you guys saw the part number earlier um i'm kind of just announcing this on the fly i didn't really think about it i really don't have anything else to give away i don't really do giveaways because i don't know like i said before i have nothing else to give away like everything i have i need so um this will be my first one i think i'm gonna do this one at uh let's do let's do this one at a thousand subscribers so when i get a thousand subscribers I'll give away this throttle cable. I think I paid 50 for it. So yeah, whoever wins it, I'll ship it out to you guys uh, for free. I'll pay for that. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, so how I'm gonna pick the winner, I'm gonna pick someone myself, um, or I might narrow it down to maybe like five people or something, or maybe 10. And then from there, I'll do like a, a, a random pick out of like a hat or whatever, like real old school. So I'm gonna pick somebody who's always in my comments always watching the videos um someone who's in the uh you know when i do a video like premiere and i announce it maybe a week before and they show up for the premiere thing on youtube someone's like that um someone that's uh sharing my videos like on um instagram or youtube or just you know social media i appreciate that i'm gonna just pick someone who's who's always there in my videos just showing support and i don't think uh getting to a thousand subscribers is gonna take very long i'm already at i think three 310 or something like that 315 subscribers and i think it's only been two months or three months since i've been um putting videos out but yeah it's not gonna take that long for us to get to a thousand so don't worry guys so yeah don't like contact me on ig asking me when the giveaway is or if i've done it or whatever if you guys watch the videos and stuff like that you'll know when i do the giveaway so if you contact me like on ig asking me to pick you or something like that you're out so yeah just you know watch the videos i mean my videos are what 15 minutes long 20 some of them been you know 24 25 minutes long when i'm really showing you guys how to do something for but for the most part i try to keep them like you know 14 16 minutes long something like that so yeah that's that uh so yeah let's get back to this idle issue we're trying to fix here All right, so I put everything back together, throttle body, um, the intake, uh, what else? I don't know, the throttle cable, everything. I was actually gonna take the car out for a spin. I was gonna use my GoPro, but I forgot the SD card for this. Show you guys where it is right now. It's perfect. Um, usually it gets stuck at the two mark or maybe a little bit above it. So yeah, we'll find out if it worked or not. Uh, I'm gonna take it out for a spin. I'll show you guys if it does get stuck. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about But just just revving it here from the car and I will say the throttle response on the pedal 
is like really i want to say like really responsive you know like just i don't know it kind of just snaps back quicker because i i think from tightening the spring or whatever i don't know it just makes everything tighter so yeah let's just go ahead i gotta leave soon so let's, let me go for a quick spin and i'll i'll get back to you guys in a little bit good guys this thing is a lot better we are good I'm gonna push the uh, clutch in all the way look it doesn't get stuck at all drops right back down so I'm at this uh, car wash platinum auto spa whatever it's a touchless one and uh, car is running a lot better I could even probably make the, the throttle response even tighter um i feel like it did fix it i didn't feel it getting stuck at all i feel like it's closing all the way now so i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this to bed that is how you fix it guys you just keep adjusting that spring and it will close all the way i don't know if it's the same for every throttle body it might not be i don't know about the hybrid racing one if there's a spring you can adjust on that but honestly the k-tune one so where k-tune set it to where i have it now i moved it clockwise uh, let me see eight spots which is a lot but it really does close the throttle body now i'm not saying this is going to fix the issue for everybody but i think that that's the main issue everyone's having is that spring you got to really put that thing super tight like as as far as you can go um without messing up the spring obviously but just gradually start start um making it tighter so just start at a certain point you know maybe move it three spots to clockwise and see how that feels and if you still have the same issue move it another three spots and then another two or or one and just keep going from there and and it should fix your issue i mean even me revving it like when i adjusted it the second time even when i rev it like in a parking lot like this it would it would sometimes it would randomly get stuck not as much as before but it would get stuck at that 2k mark but now now it, do, it doesn't do it at all and i've been playing around with this for a little bit now i drove it around and it hasn't been an issue so i think we're pretty much good man i think we we solved this rev hang or this this idle issue or the throttle body getting stuck so that's definitely how you fix it guys it's not your iacv um it could be your tps i changed mine and it really helped with the idle but um as far as like your throttle cable or it being your icv it's definitely not that it's definitely your if if you bought a k-tune one and you're having that rev hang or that or your throttle body getting real sticky make that spring super tight and you'll fix your issue so let me just go outside show you guys what my how my car's sitting right now i need to make like a a, a video of uh you know everything i've done to my car so i could just show you guys and uh I don't know maybe i'll do like uh people like making those videos like top five or top five top ten top seven whatever it is of like their favorite thing about their car or, i don't know i'll just make i'll start doing a little videos like that too so you guys can get like a whole view of my car but yeah hopefully you guys can hear me it's crazy windy out here it's like a little farm area or something out here they plant a lot of like plants and stuff so everything's coming out pretty good we're getting there uh if you guys haven't seen my car just i don't know regular rpf ones i got those powder coated the back quarter panel i gotta fix that i wrecked that thing when i uh rolled the fenders and stuff you know i, I don't know i want to say nothing's better than factory paint i'm gonna be honest with you after you paint a car it's it's probably never the same but yeah that's where we're at let me get a little closer hopefully you guys can see this pretty good i can't see anything on my screen but yeah car's super dirty right now no more fog lights and uh my side skirts uh they're actually i could put them on i just i've been really lazy to even do that i just got so much other shit going on with the car that i don't know i didn't want to put that back on all right so hopefully this video was pretty helpful i try and make videos for you guys that will help you but then at the same time i like vlogging i like showing you guys what i'd be up to so and i think i might make a, an additional like uh, update video maybe a month or two from now just confirming that everything is good uh 
you know it's still not sticking or anything like that so um look out for that and another thing to look out for is the giveaway if you guys are just skimming through the video and you missed it i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for the uh throttle cable the uh k2 one i got yeah i put it back in here i'm gonna be giving this away at a thousand subscribers and like i said guys people that have been commenting or just you know sharing my videos and stuff like that those are the people i'm gonna put into the drawing and just uh pick one of you guys and you know i'll ship it out to you guys you guys don't have to pay for anything so and for you guys that are familiar with my wire tucking videos i think i have like six videos out right now i'm gonna be adding two more videos one's gonna be for your brake booster i'm gonna go more into that um parts and stuff that you need and i'm gonna do one for your fuel line tuck and i'm gonna you know list the part numbers and everything for that so be on the lookout for those very soon probably this week next week i'll be releasing those two videos and guys if you haven't seen my ultimate wire tuck guide or whatever i'll put the link down below and i'll also put it right here um, on the screen uh, make sure you guys watch that i did cover the fuel line tuck and the brake booster but i didn't go like in full detail i kind of just gave you guys um kind of like how to do it and you know if you guys watch the video you know what i'm talking about so now i'm just at the point that i'm just blabbing off and just talking too much i'm gonna end the video right here guys have a good day i'll see you guys on the next one all right